Is not the Urania of Bharata back? What's the length of her transportation? From the void of the sacred altar cometh a tearful answer, one hundred and fifty years. Across seven oceans and thirteen rivers lie ruthless Andamans. Where a lovely lily looks pale at the rude touch of a silver stick, where a lotus with a hundred petals is cut into a hundred pieces by the stroke of a tyrant, where there are people paid to tear off the strings of the lyre, does from there come the message of liberation through the medium of wireless setar? Is the imprisoned lyre set tree, after all? Is the prison house reduced to powder? Does in the silvery quagmire of the palace of the Jakshas bloom the fair, lovely lily? Does out of the debris of the guns and gunpowder magazine rise the ivory tower of the divine muse? Does a bloody spectacle give place to peace, serene and bright? If not, why then this solemn, pathetic service? Why this sacred sound of the Sankhya? There were across seven oceans and thirteen rivers lie the tar off Andamans the mosses eternally yoked to the dismal squeezing machine, and the imprisoned truth husks paddy. Dost thou know the origin of the oil for service that thou hast brought from the life squeezing machine? The sacrificial ghee is nothing but the fat of the young heroes who perpetually guard the muse. Alas, light hearted worshipper, in vain dost thou blow the sanku of the goddess. Across the void left by the sacred deity there arise mere wails. Worshipper, to whom dost thou tender the offerings? Is the muse free in Bharata, where the law punishes the just? where, by telling the truth, one suffers imprisonment, where the oppressed, cannot speak about the oppression where the muse like the captive Sita puts up with the fortune inflicted by the judges of the type of Ravana's Chahais, where the free, fair, blooming lotus of the muse is given the name and local habitation of a rebel, worshipper. Dost thou come there with thy offerings to the muse? The lion is put in a cage, the tiger is fired at lest they should harm men, but who knew that time would come when the muse would receive a bullet wound, and the muse's lotus would be put within the prison walls? Does the wireless mantra of eternal God strike today the lyre of the muse, and the justice of the new order puts his feet upon the lotus? Then, be it so. Pour forth offerings, blow, blow the panchajanya conch. The agonizing wheel of the Andamans is upset now by the whirlwind of the new order. Translation Abdul Hakim, 